Max. Prove yourself. Noxious here. Good keeper from Vasco. Maybe this is a kill. Well, yeah, a lot of damage being drained. Shadow will have to use the Rass, and that'll be the first blood very easily. Uh, level three Dragon Blood. Ooh. Oh, Vasco is dead though. That's uh, questionable. Oh no! <laughs> it's both. He's dead here. Oh, really good stick, Not just but... yet, he has to blink forward again with the stun, and there it is. He does get the kill in the end, Avalanche. It's gonna take them a while to kill him now, another doppelganger. Still being healed up. Because of the heal. <laughs> yeah, no way he survives, <laughs> I was gonna say, but now, oh, gee. He had... Really crazy. But... Like, her always strong starts at level 6. Top everything on the Queen of Pain here. The stomp after the stun, and the burst down is just enough. Cool down indeed. Doesn't even want to max it out now because the spun scream of pain gets more and more important. As top lane though, alright. Azor being dropped, Dahak being run down. A couple of heroes here. You get the tower. And G, uh, G does want to move because they don't want to give it away. But here's a fight. And he gets it now. Willow comes through. Doing quite a bit of damage to Vance go, but wants to focus on BZZ who's still hanging around, but no way out of this one. Despite the glimpse here, G gets Perhaps. Radiance middle tower. You can actually kill him here. Vance go is certainly a much easier kill, so. Gonna uh, go for the toss back on that, almost into the rambles. Quite right enough there. Like the TP, it's way sh shorter cooldown. It's really good, uh, but it's just that usually on racer you you you'd feel you can't afford it because you're kind of this mid game oriented uh, hero. I thought Cheshire Cat comes in with blink clap ultimate used as well. But Team Spirit already on the way back. They get the glimpse on the Queen of Pain, he and he will be right click down. Beaver also snap back. BZ gave much of his momentum and it's paying off right now. BZ not again. Alright. He's having a tough one. If there's anything that's not going right for Gambit and certainly this uh, DK. Like being pressured constantly in lane, being picked up a couple of times even outside of the lane in very sh sh quick succession. All 5 and 2 and DK Phobos is not even done yet. Either. Very fast, finds Vansko with a combo and that's uh, very easy indeed. <laughs> the Avalanche instead. You get a lot of burst damage from that combo potential. Yep. I might go again, FNG. I'm being caught out first with the stun straight up from BZC. We burst it down. Power. But still, nice little supplemental damage. I mean, I think what uh, Gambit, they want to start making some moves with this PKB and Racer because. Their DK is not doing well, and Peel is doing really well, so Peel is gonna become a problem because the hero. The fine Cheshire Cat. Let's have the ultimate to work with here, but can he get it off with a terrorize? He's out of mana now. Oh my god. That works. Coming through, this one will be dodge pieces here. He's trying to make his way, gets a stun off into the static zone onto Tiny. That's a big one, Beaver. No terrorize this low. time to help him out. Roshan is low, so Zillidan gets glimpsed back into the Roche pit here, but oh god, he finds a way out. To the high yeah, ground, no, and he can try and finish it off. FNG, well, this is where the golem would have been super useful. Instead, he just gets right click down, but plenty of time for Elden maybe to take it in space, but he just dies through the AoE. G yeah, finally with the ultimate coming through, and this is not a <laughs> him and DK Forwards just cleaning house together <laughs> with Beaver. <laughs> really could account for a Tiny, or the Queen of Pain, or the Dark Willow for that matter, right? In these kind of team fights, Beaver's left to operate. Uh, G kill there. Uh, yeah, I mean. They did de deny the Aegis and whatnot, but they didn't want win the fight. Like, they got Illidan, it's a nice kill, but... Willow, he's keeping in here. Being uh, slightly crazy. Not sure about this one. Yulz is still keeping him safe, though. Now G finds an ultimate. Beaver, he's still alive! <laughs> Cheshire get now with the ultimate victim in the middle of that, too. Gambit trying to run over Team Spirit right now. They do find Illidan in the side. He can they finish the job here with the right clicks. Can they find the real one? They can indeed at the end. But at what cost? Gambit lost the rest of the heroes while Eraser was dealing with that. Now it's only Dark here with the Groot Lynx timing out. Real Cheshire Cat coming in, but G with a triple kill. Pogo's just way too beefy and they're all just sitting in the upheaval. Cheshire Cat can't even walk away trying to. Get a little bit, fa uh, get out of there a little bit faster going on the barrel, but <laughs> it's not really a thing, guys. It's not really a thing. It's just a taunt. Getting a pick off, not start a fight like instantly where Team Spirit expects them to be five. But alright, they're being gone on top here. They used Rock. 
Bottom of the lane, anybody, Viva gets glimpsed back. She again gets BKB off before the forest gets through, but they find Vines, Vines go to the side. G will be able to help finish it off. Dahak now with that BKB trying to do some damage, and he should find the Kifomas here. We see also throwing in some extra nukes. One for one trade, certainly in favor of Gamba this time. This instance, they have no detection ready here for the Phantom Lancer. So not expecting that Shadow Blade perhaps. As Bigdom finds a nice little stomp into the Nurse Blade as Elton rejoins the party now. This is great for Gambit. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, the old Stinger's unit are not really dropping low and finally to find Illidan. Keeping track of him this time. They do burst him down. They have control here. Busy trying to walk in. Four Dragon Tile gets stunned up though. Everyone linked now with Beaver buying back Hello. to do some crazy amount of damage. It's one down. Get the Yules onto Dark. Stomp to try and buy some extra time, but with the stun already channeled up, nothing that Vansko can do to counter that out. He'll be the sacrifice. We get Phobos. Kind of isolated here, gets glimpsed back into the static storm. This time, five years around him, surely he dies. There we go. No terrorize shenanigans. Go into the pit. A couple of illusions from Illidan. To work on their way in. G also taking the high ground. There's some rock being dropped with the terrorize to storm them out of the pit into the, that sonic wave. All of that much. Ah, there it is. Illidan coming in. They actually find a stun on the real one with the earth pillar coming through. Zoning out Beaver. Illidan. Cannot continue this fight alone, but DK4 was finally joining the party, finds the control, and the nuke on Dark is down for the count! 85 seconds on the side nines, not coming back, and this is what Gambit has to get the hell out. The Yules and Curse Crown combo will secure the kill onto Dragon Knight here, that combo that we talked about earlier with Beaver, while Illidan also finishes up with the Elder Titan in the side. This time, Team Spirit. Well, the cast of the spells and actually connected with the spells this time as Vance goes being run down by G. Four for nothing trade, and Roshan super low. But Sonic Wave isn't, doesn't even matter at this point. We saw it hit on a couple of heroes, so it was not the biggest amount of damage, but now it's a nice little static storm to catch OG into it. They need some follow-up damage, so BZ with the stun, with the Hawk roaming in. On top of that, Earth Splitter, nicely done indeed, taking down one of these big cores. And now the glimpse back onto Big Nam. Shadow Realm TP! <laughs> the stomp is there, though, to cancel this. They're trying to run down the Warlock, and they will be able to finish him off. Beaver, next on the list, nicely timed to breathe fire. Help if we keep finding these glimpse plays. We get focus once again the target. It'd be kind of a free beam that is. And radius. Uh, it's, it's fine. There's nothing really changing here, but these kind of pickoffs, they can have a big.